Yes, and welcome back to the Touchline. And this particular time, we speaking with Mwalimu Kikechi Kombo, and we delving into matters rugby. Let's begin with Chipu and how they did win that particular trophy. They regained the trophy that they had lost for the last uh, two years, and it was beautiful for them to earn that, to serve the revenge in um, Harare, Zimbabwe. The performance, Mwalimu, was uh, expected yeah, from uh, the uh, Chipu. Yeah, thank you for mm -hmm. welcoming me, and it's good to see you again today. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the good thing is uh, Chipu uh, actually winning in Zim, in Zim. Mm -hmm. and I think that was a good defense because we, we lost badly here yeah. in, uh, in, in Nairobi. Yeah. And it was, uh, you know, it was doubling up and uh, it was unexpected to have that big loss uh, to the, the team. But I think the coaches went back uh, after the change of uh, the coaches and I think Simon Chawinjira has come up with a new formula mm -hmm. and uh, the boys did well. And mm -hmm. also that tells us that uh, actually what the, Ken what the Kenya Cup coaches are doing, they are doing the right thing because we saw the players who came from the Kenya Cup side. Mm -hmm. uh, they really played well. So mm -hmm. that means that <coughs> our coaches are, are doing the, are mm -hmm. impacting mm -hmm. the right skills to the players mm -hmm. and uh, their performance was good and we expect them to do well in, uh, in Scotland. Mm -hmm. uh, though in the World uh, Junior uh, World, 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 world Junior Trophy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, under 20. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, what will happen is that uh, now they'll be meeting other superpowers like Scotland, Jap Japan and all that. Mm -hmm. But what we expect out of them is a uh, good preparation. Mm -hmm. That's what will make them. Remember mm -hmm. that uh, yes. Kenya, we don't have under 20 league. Mm -hmm. And we're able to see how the other countries will be executing the game in, uh, in Scotland. Because the countries that have got a uh, well elaborate under 20 team, they, they, they play um, a kind of a different type of uh, rugby because they are, they, they, they are in the system and they get the right players who are playing that particular system. But as the biggest problem, we don't have under 20 league and we keep on uh, getting these players from uh, from Kenya Cup clubs and the National Island Championship. And, but they are doing the right thing. So mm -hmm. if Kenya Rugby Union can come up with the under-20 league, mm -hmm. I think that will pay off. And uh, I don't know why Kenya is only the, uh, one of the best ca playing countries in rugby, but they don't have under-20 league. Because when you go to this established uh, rugby playing nation, mm -hmm. uh, South Africa, each each team has got a well elaborate under-20 team. And the under-20 team is the one used to as a feeder, as a feeder um, players to the main team. Yeah. yeah but here we, we have a different model where you have the ESS. No, no promotion, no relegation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you see now, these are just a reserve, a reserve team. And these guys are putting money in the, mm -hmm. in the ESS, uh, mm -hmm. which is a reserve team. Mm -hmm. But I wish they could have put money in the under-20 league. Mm -hmm. I think that one could have worked well. But so far, so good, the way mm -hmm. they played. And if they continue like that, uh, the, uh, the, the World Junior uh, Championship Trophy, I think they, they'll be able to, to mm -hmm. do well and, and um, at least win some of the games. Because that's a, those countries play different games and it's very difficult to, to win a game. Though, uh, when we went to Brazil, I think when Paul, when um, Porodero was the coach, uh -huh. I think we, we did well and I think we won at least a game there, which mm -hmm. was uh, good for Chibu Said. Yes, and, yeah. and, and the coach uh, Simon Jawich really did some good job. I remember listening to his um, post-match interviews and he singled out how the scrums worked for him. Yeah. Maybe main factors why they were able to get uh, the grind out the result. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you see, once you prepare your your team and you you, you perfect on set pieces, you'll always uh, come out and uh, win because now the players are getting it right and are executing it in the right way uh, mm -hmm. in the pitch. Mm -hmm. Definitely come up well. Though <laughs> we have the issues that about the white rugby with the scrums. I think uh, yeah. it's raising eyebrows and you know, they are basing it on spring spring books how uh -huh. they won the World Cup. Uh -huh. and, you know, they were calling for scrums. When yeah. they get a freak, they call for a scrum yeah, and yeah. they bring you your 22. Yeah. And from that scrum they go and convert and uh -huh. they, they get um, you know uh -huh. that's how France lost yes. and the complaints I think are from this uh, we are the superpowers Super, playing yeah. rugby nation yeah, they really complain because they felt that uh, Springbok had an advantage <laughs> on the scrums. Yeah, on the scrums, yeah. yeah. And you see now the Springboks are saying, but Springboks, the good thing with Springboks, they're always ahead of uh, the white rugby. Mm -hmm. They'll be able to come with another uh, formula to, yeah. to win. To win. F take, for instance, if they bring more seven uh, loose forwards, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. now they were saying the issue of the sc the changing that law mm -hmm. of uh, the free kick to bring into the, the issue of the scrum. Yes. Instead of the scrum, yeah. uh, calling for the scrum, uh -huh. you either tap or, or you, you kick the ball. Yeah. So uh, assume these guys, what they'll do, they'll now bring in uh, seven loose forwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you see now seven one uh, mm -hmm. when they did, and the people wondering yeah. how can you bring seven forwards in the game? Yeah. You see now, but you see now they had they, they had known that actually from the 60 minute, mm -hmm. that's now uh, the uh, normally the scrums the, the other teams they are tired, mm -hmm. and now you use your your, your scrums to uh, to have a, a due advantage of it. You keep on hitting. So if these guys bring in seven loose forwards, mm -hmm. so it will be like, you know, I don't know what, what rugby will do. Mm -hmm. Probably they'll look and changing the formula on the, on the loose seven forwards mm -hmm. <laughs> because okay. now they'll destroy even the back lines yeah. of uh, the other team and yeah. they merge again the champion because they are looking at uh, 
uh, Springboks dominance uh, probably in 2027. And uh, you see now, they want to balance the game. Mm -hmm. But essence of uh, the rules is normally mm -hmm. for the kids. Mm -hmm. You know, once you, 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 you bring in uh, scrums, you, you see now the injuries. You know, injuries might occur because there's too much um, uh, contact in the yeah. neck. Yeah. And uh, you bring too much in the contact in the neck, the kids get injured. You see now, the, even the parents now, mm -hmm. they'll once, uh, they'll worried, now, yeah. Yeah, they'll worry and they'll, they'll, they'll refuse their kids from playing rugby. Mm -hmm. And that one will affect the game. So mm -hmm. essence is, uh, they're also looking at the kids. Because if high school kids, they will do what? Now they, 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 they give, they bring in more of scrums than uh, playing. Mm -hmm. You see now, it keeps on bringing more injuries to yeah, the weak yeah, team. Yeah. Uh, because these are the, the future players. Yes. But they win more guys too, to play the game. So yes. I think what rugby is looking at, uh, on how to balance the game on the rules. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the Lionesses, their current run in, um, in Madagascar, not really yeah, uh, yeah. one to write home about? Yeah, yeah. Well, they have uh, lost two matches against Cameroon, uh, sorry, against Madagascar and, um, uh, and South, South and Africa. South Africa, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and the way you're looking at Cameroon, how they played against SSA, mm -hmm. you see now, I think it will be a, a bit difficult game unless now the coaches come up and uh, bring a, a different mode of play. Mm -hmm. But still, when you look at the Lioness with the situation they are, I think they are, they are trying. Though we also have uh, the backs. You know, the backs are normally the guys who are playing in sevens. Yes. And when you look at the numbers, probably they are. More, more, uh, these guys, when they are preparing for the challenge series, mm -hmm. so they are not able to support the, the back line. Yes. And I think that's where they, they also some weakness. So I think the coaches will be able to look at the weakness and um, uh, prepare his team for the final game mm -hmm. against Madagascar. And Dennis Wanja really having uh, a rough time yeah, in as far as running that particular time. What yeah, are some of the it's issues it's that maybe are dogging them? Well, I think when you look at it, it's just the preparation. Because when you see the mode, the way how they are executing the game mm -hmm. and the way the other teams are doing, you see mm -hmm. now the other teams are doing it the right way mm -hmm. and uh, Lioness are not doing it the right way. So coaches need to go back and uh, look at themselves. It's so disappointing because the champions will be able to uh, will, will get an automatic qualification to go mm -hmm. and play at the World Cup. Yes. And if the Lioness could have made that step, it could have changed the life of uh, these uh, ladies. Yes, yeah. and also group two of the... F women's are 15th yeah, championship. 15th, yes. Yeah, in Cape Town, mm, uh, in Cape coming Town. up, yeah. yeah. So they have lost, lost that chance. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Kenya, maybe now they have to switch their focus to the, the squad that was named to the Challenger Series, the last and final leg of the Challenger Series in Poland on next weekend. Ah, yeah, so 18 and 19th. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be tough. And mm -hmm. um, uh, Kenya now need to focus. They have two teams. They have the Lioness and uh, they have the Shuja. The Shuja, Shuja yes. got one leg inside the, 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 series, uh, the final, mm -hmm. a leg in Madrid. Mm -hmm. Uh, but Lioness, uh, they say they are, they are currently they are number number five. Yes. Uh, Uganda is slightly above. But if they win, can uh, move on to the finals, mm -hmm. I think it will be good for them and they'll be able to, to qualify. Mm -hmm. And they play that, um, I think Uganda, our neighbors don't do well. Mm -hmm. So that now they sneak in and um, try their luck against the, the last four, mm -hmm. uh, which is, uh, I think, Brazil, Japan. Mm -hmm. I also have the Spain mm -hmm. uh, down there on the log and South Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you remember we lost South Africa before and then they qualified for HSP series. Yes. So we're going probably to meet them again mm -hmm. and it's going to be tough in Madrid. But I think uh, one game at a time, what they are supposed to do, uh, though and f it's unfortunate that we have uh, two girls, um, ladies are not uh, traveling. Uh, mm -hmm. That's uh, Grace uh, Gulu and uh, Janet Akello. You see mm -hmm. now these are guys who are playing in professional in, in Japan. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what the issue is because the clubs are supposed to release the players. So maybe because yeah, of the issue the of the national tickets. duty. Yeah. And Kenya and really needs them. Yeah, he really needs them for the last leg now. Mm -hmm. But they have two debuters, they have brought them in. But I uh, wish them well. I think they'll be able to, if they do well in uh, Poland, uh, that will be okay for them they, yeah. they qualify like, for home yeah if they can replicate maybe their um, their their performance in the opening leg of the challenger series in dubai yeah uh, things really didn't go for them well in montevideo in the montevideo yeah. yeah that's where now they they lost grip but in dubai they played well mm -hmm. so that tells them they can still uh, uh do well uh in in, in um in in, 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 in poland, poland mm -hmm. yeah where they're playing uh i think mexico belgium uh those are the teams they can uh win but all the pointers um maybe showing us that they'll be able to pull through and be among the top four teams and qualify, make the final playoff spots in Madrid yeah. when the uh, seventh season uh, culminates. 
Yeah. Sorry? That's possible? It's yeah, possible yeah, for Lionesses so to, yeah, yeah, it's possible. to be among the top four? Yeah, one, mm. once they make it to the finals, they're okay. Mm. Or mm. the last four and um, mm. probably the, la the number four and the logo, number five, especially Uganda. If mm. Uganda doesn't do well, mm -hmm. then the Lioness will be in. But that means that the Lioness have to make it to the quarterfinals mm -hmm. of the main cup series. Yes. Yeah. And Shuja also uh, weighing their chances <laughs> in a good position, top four? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Shuja, uh, one leg is uh, they're in Madrid, but they need to. Uh, maintain uh, they need to maintain the, the pace in, in Madrid mm -hmm. and because now Uruguay they are number two on the log Uruguay has got 109 mm -hmm. uh, Shuja has got 83 points so now Shuja has to at least be at the top you know what we, the, 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 <coughs> the main focus is uh, they are looking at um, uh, what's happening in Madrid because now I think the coaches are calculating to see what's in Madrid uh, if they can be able to top up the group and pray that um, uh, Uruguay doesn't do well. Uh, I find that now they'll be top. But the way things are standing here, Uruguay might still uh, top the group because uh -huh. 109, uh, when you look at that different mm -hmm. point difference, mm -hmm. I think that's a, a, a massive point difference. And I think mm -hmm. the, the challenge now comes in, uh, in, in Montevideo, uh -huh. where we, we uh -huh. didn't uh, do well. Uh -huh. uh, so that's where we lost track. Uh -huh. But still, uh, we focus on, on Madrid. Uh -huh. uh, so what they need to top the pool and uh, make it to the next uh, quarter of the, 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 the uh, main cup uh -huh. uh, quarters. Uh -huh. so main but once they make it to the, to the main cup, mm -hmm. I think we'll be in a, in a better position mm -hmm. uh, to be in, among the top. Mm -hmm. And if we, number one is okay. But if we become number two, yeah, because I'm also looking at the lock in Madrid, yes. the last four. The, yeah, the have, teams that we'll, yeah, be, yeah, we, we'll, we'll be, be playing against, in the yeah, playoffs. Yes. Yeah, when you look at United States of America, mm -hmm. then we also have, uh, yeah, we have, uh, sorry, United, you have USA, mm -hmm. we have uh, Samoa, we mm -hmm. have Spain, then mm -hmm. we have Canada. Mm -hmm. So you see now what the World Rugby has done, and I don't know why these chairmen are not making noise, mm -hmm. because the format for the Challenger Series, mm -hmm. the promotion relegation is different from the HSP Series. Mm -hmm. HSP is a pool game, mm -hmm. but when you look at the, 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 the promotion relegation, mm -hmm. it's knockout, mm -hmm. where number one plays number four, number two, plays mm. number three, mm. like that. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at number, number the last one. The mm -hmm. last one is Canada. If we mm -hmm. make number one, mm -hmm. but it's unlikely because Uruguay, the, match, the point difference is big. Mm -hmm. So that means uh, we'll play Samoa. Mm -hmm. Samoa is a very difficult team yes. to play against and mm -hmm. they play to the last second uh, Samoa. So it, it's going to be tough. But we also look at the uh, United States of America. Then we have Spain. So USA, it's difficult. You know, you say bullies are these small teams. Yeah. 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 So I, I don't know why they, they came up with that particular format. It probably they want to maintain the big nation in the HSB series mm -hmm. because they were waiting either Britain was to come down or USA. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, USA didn't do well. Britain did well and Britain escaped the promotion delegation mm -hmm. uh, in Madrid. Uh -huh. So here, uh, what the coach will be doing uh, in, in Munich, to focus on mm -hmm. how he's going to tackle the, the last guys, mm -hmm. either Samoa or or it's Samoa or Canada, mm -hmm. but most likely it's Samoa, mm -hmm. and Samoa is a very difficult yes. team to play against. Yeah, and, and maybe that particular um, series will just be happening with days to the Olympic Games, so it will be uh, important for Coach Kevin Ombua to also you get grind out a good result ahead of the Olympics. Yeah, yeah uh, they've already qualified for Olympics. Yes, of uh, course. Like yeah. uh, I say, we should be mm -hmm. going for a three pitch. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, I think one game at a time. Mm -hmm. The main thing mm -hmm. here is uh, or, or we've already qualified, whether you like it or not, they play at the Olympic. Mm -hmm. uh, but now you see how they prepare. Yeah. But now here is the promotion. Yeah, the sevens. Yeah, sevens it's now. Getting to the sevens. Yeah, yes. Where Kenya has been, I think, for the last 19 years. Unfortunately, they came back last year. Mm -hmm. So this season, they haven't played in the seven series. Mm -hmm. So we need to go back. So mm -hmm. the main focus now should be on this particular promotion uh, do, to the HB series. Yeah, do you think but that mm -hmm. if they win that game, mm -hmm. then they're already in the, in, the, in, the, in the HSB series. Because now, uh, when you win that one, you've been the last four. The last mm -hmm. four goes to the semis. Mm -hmm. So those ones will get promoted, the four teams. Mm -hmm. So they, what this guy needs just to win one game in mm -hmm. Madrid mm -hmm. and to win game against Samoa. Mm -hmm. Or probably if number one they win against mm -hmm. uh, uh, Canada. Mm -hmm. Which uh, Canada, Canada hasn't done well, uh -huh. uh, but given that he's playing against experienced teams, mm -hmm. uh, uh, competitive teams, you know, uh, unlike Kenya, which is playing against the weak teams yes. uh, in the series. Though Chile, when you look at that particular uh, pool, where we're having Chile, Japan, mm -hmm. Kenya and Japan have been the series for uh, quite some time. Mm -hmm. But Pojogo is in on, off, and um, uh, Chile. Chile mm -hmm. is also this well, uh, when you saw them in playing Montevideo. Mm -hmm. So we're in the same group. Mm -hmm. So they need to win against Chile, uh, win against... Um, uh, so, uh, so they, the, what they are supposed to do, mm -hmm. yeah, win against Japan, mm -hmm. they win against Chile, mm -hmm. then win against Portugal. Mm -hmm. So we, we'll, we'll top and uh, be in the, in the, the main cup. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, indeed. And maybe looking at the particular players that Coach uh, Bling has, uh, he's depending on this time around, they'll be able to 
get him the the right results yeah mm -hmm. yeah so you see now he brought in an experienced guy mm -hmm. which we have uh and so we have um uh homer mm -hmm. who has been among the series and has a lot of experience mm -hmm. uh, he's brought in i think mm -hmm. that's a good idea mm -hmm. we also have onyala we also have kevin mm -hmm. um kevin then uh, kesa then mm -hmm. we have omondi so mm -hmm. these are guys who have been then i brought in the the new guys like uh, omondi uh, patrick odongo you see now he's among the top of uh, uh, score in the, in the series. Mm -hmm. So those guys will be able to, to execute. You know, these are the best players this guy can have right now. Mm -hmm. Because the issue is uh, Kenya, we, are, we have a problem in maintaining our players. Yes. Uh, we, that's the issue with Kenya rugby, mm -hmm. you know, maintaining our player. But when you look at New Zealand, they mm -hmm. always keep their players. South Africa, they always keep their players and yeah. they put them on contract. As much as mm -hmm. you are playing for your club, mm -hmm. but you are on the contract of the national team. team yes. Yeah, so that's the biggest, that's the gap that we have. And the issue is uh, about the funding yeah, the, uh, the issues with the union and yeah. Professionalizing. We are still in amateur. Yeah. Though we are playing amongst the elite teams, like uh, what these guys did in the, in the, in the, um, the, in the HSP series in yes. the past. Yes. You see now they're playing against the, the elite teams. Mm -hmm. But they are doing well, though our game is yeah, still amateur. The same structure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same structure, yeah. amateur, instead of professionalizing mm -hmm. the game. Mm -hmm. So uh, I wish them well. Mm -hmm. I think um, if Bling um, uh, puts his um, things, uh, the team in the, in the right structure, yeah. uh, I think they will be able to win and qualify. Though in Madrid, it's going to be difficult, and mm -hmm. uh, you need to put these particular guys mm -hmm. in the right mental structure. Yes. But the most thing, the mm -hmm. most important thing is just first of all to qualify in uh, in Munich. Yes, yeah. yes, make their way through yes. in, in Munich. In Munich, that's yeah. where the final leg of the Challenger Series will be held. While the women's will be in uh, Poland, that's mm -hmm. next weekend. And what's lying ahead is the Madrid, where the playoffs will be happening. Thank you so much, Malimu. Yeah, I look forward to talking about this again next weekend when uh, the battle will be on. Oh, sure. Right? Yeah. Yes, this is the touchline. And up next, I'll be speaking to the KCB Women's Volleyball team. Keep watching the touchline.